Hey boys and girls, Pastor Katie and Mr. Caleb here to Hello. bring you the At Home Weekly. God is our help. And we see this all over the Old Testament, the, the New Testament. It's all over. That's kind of his thing, is That's helping That's kind people. of his thing. But we're particularly going to look at three people and how Jesus helped them. And this, these are all healing miracles, which okay. is really cool. So first is the healing of the leper. Second, there was a leopard? No, the leper. Well, yeah, leopard. No, L -E has a D no, L in the word. L-E-P-E-R. That's definitely not how you spell leopard. That's because we're like, not talking about like leopard. It's like leopard. No, no. A leper was a man who, or a woman who had leprosy. A wear leopard. No, it's a sickness. I. It would be That's pretty sick. sick if you were a wear leopard. Boys and girls, cats and leopards are not included in this Bible story. It's cats like aren't in any Bible story. A very sick man. Also, Jairus' daughter and Jairus's daughter. a very sick woman. And a very sick woman. That's it. All right. And you can find these passages in Matthew 8, chapter 1 through 4, 9, chapter 18 through 26. I don't have that many fingers. That's okay. And Mark chapter 5, verse 21 through 43. I'm again, out of fingers. It's, it's okay, they got it. 21 through 43. And we see in these three people's lives, plus Jesus, that some needs are so great mm -hmm. that only God's power can be of help to these people. So Jesus responded to these three people with needs that were so great that they only could be helped by God. He responded to a leper with an incurable disease. Not a leopard. Not a leopard. Why would you think it was a leopard? That's crazy. <sighs> the leper called out to Jesus because he needed Jesus' help, and Jesus made him whole. The second was a woman with an embarrassing illness who reached out to touch the hem of Jesus' cloak. And when, as soon as she touched Jesus, she was healed. And the third is Jairus' daughter who was dying. He called out to Jesus for help and Jesus raised his daughter back to life. No problem is too big for Jesus. So I did some research and did you know that leprosy, not leopards, leprosy is actually an incurable and really dangerous skin disease that was very, very contagious. So if you touched someone with leprosy, you were unclean and they all had to live outside the city away from everyone else. And Jesus still went up and touched this guy and healed him. That's a pretty great fact. But did you know that anyone who touched the woman who was who was had the issue of blood became ceremonially unclean kind of similar to the leper mm -hmm. but jesus responded with love even though she just reached out and touched his cloak and did you know that according to jewish law that if you touched a dead body you were considered unclean also and jesus went and he brought that girl back to life also god is help and jesus responded with love so now we want to give you guys a chance to connect as a family. So we have a little challenge for you from us at Victory Kids. We want you to come up with a family handshake. And that's too easy. We know you guys are capable of so much more than that. So the challenge is your hands cannot touch in the family handshake. So it can be anything from something pretty simple, simple like this. Or something a bit more elaborate, like an interpretive dance. Or anything in between those two options. And the next time we see you, I want to see your family handshake. Pastor Katie would like to see your family handshake. I think that would be awesome if we had a bunch of family handshakes going on at Victory Kids next time we saw you guys. With that, we want you guys to talk as a family about how important it is to show love through touch. Uh, we heard in our story in uh, Matthew 8, 1 through 4, it's just after the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus is walking down from the mountain, and that's when the leper came up to him 
and asked for healing. And Jesus just, he reaches out, he touches the man, and he's cleansed of his leprosy. It's all gone off of him instead of what would normally happen in that situation where you touch someone with a really contagious disease and then you have it too. So he was able to heal him because he reached out in love. And we have a couple of questions we'd like you guys to discuss as a family. The first one is, why was it so amazing that Jesus healed that leper? Second question, how have you seen God respond when you have cried out to him for help? And thirdly, is there anything that you need God's help with today? And while you talk about these questions, after you've talked about them a little bit in your families, we'd like you to come together as a family and pray with each other over any needs that you have and the needs of your family in these next few weeks. And that is it for this episode of Victory Kids Live. See you next time.